right, here we go. Uh, I'm headed down the Highway 7 in the Natchez River. Uh, me and the girls came up here the other day, but uh, my youngest, eight month old, she wasn't having it with the life jacket, so we cut the trip pretty short. But I'm gonna try to drive down to that next highway down. Uh, I feel like there's probably a slim chance that I can, probably be log jams or something like that. Uh, but I don't know. And we're gonna find out by just going and burning gas. But down there, I think it's Highway 58, there's a, there's a place called Wendy's Bar. And it's within walking distance from the bridge. Uh, I'm gonna walk up there and grab a burger. Maybe a cold beer if they got something. We'll see. As a crow flies, it's nine miles from this bridge to the 58 bridge. So, I mean, you're looking at 15, 20 miles that the river goes. I'll probably track it just to kind of see. But I got her out on the water. Um, new battery. They ain't blowed up yet and killed me, so so far that's working. But the river seems to be fairly large here. I don't, I kind of think that I will make it uh, if it stays at size, though. I will say, uh, the other day I ran the Angelina in two different spots. I probably ran a total of 20, 30 miles. There'd be sections of the river where it get huge like this for four or five miles, and then it cut back down to like the small river that it is, and that's where the log jam is. Gonna keep running and see if it narrows up. It does it does it don't it don't it didn't really matter, which is out riding. Go get us some a bit of late lunch, I guess. But we had a late breakfast. The river definitely narrowed up, but this is a split and dead end. But uh I was expecting this. I took the narrowest split, so uh I'm not surprised, but cool little shoot here off to the, as that's coming downstream, I took a left. There's current in here. I guess no reason to cut it out if you can go the other way, right? I don't know how much further I had before it reconnected to the river or not. Looking at the maps and that other little cut, that other little cut that I took earlier is still over there. And looking at the map, it doesn't come back in until way over there. So I don't know, I'd say a third of the water still off over yonder in the woods somewhere. So that's why this has kind of got shortened up. But so far, no issues on the river as far as log jams or something. But we're definitely narrow enough where a big tree would, it would definitely shut it down. One thing I was just thinking of, there's a bunch of trails over here, so somebody has to have some type of bridge to get over that to get out here on their little lease or what that may be state land, I'm not sure. I don't see signs, I think it's private, but so there has to be a pretty cool bridge somewhere. It'd be nice to go the other way to kind of see what their little bridge looks like. Just speaking of the Natchez and Angelina here in this area, uh, relative to the Sabine, I mean, there's no banks. Uh, the river is not bottomed out, obviously. A uh, little cut right here. I don't know. Uh, the river's not bottomed out. There's some flow, but it's low. If you look at the graph, which I did before I left, it's only like four or five hundred cubic feet per second. Uh, but like in my section of the river, the Sabine, it takes a good 20 foot of water. I say that uh, 15 foot from low up. It will flood it flood the bottoms pretty good here i mean look at this you get four foot of water and this whole bottom is going to be underwater which could be fun because i see some trails out in the woods go ripping up and down through those you know six inches of water uh, i have an old video in here where i did that in the mineola area on the sabine but it was tons of water but here 
interesting gonna see later in the spring we finally get some rain come out here and explore all these bottoms you know i'm not sure if that's even legal uh, if you know uh comment let me know what y'all think the law is on that i think the law leaves it enough unclarity that if you was to take it to the court your lawyer could manipulate into your favor if you're or if you had a bad lawyer the their lawyer the state or whoever first charges has enough in their favor to make you look guilty uh, i hate that it's not black and white um, but at the same time i'm kind of the type of i mean no harm no foul type guy some people may look down on me for that i mean but what's the saying I mean, were you ever there if no one knew you was there? I don't know. I'm not trying to criminalize myself by any means, but I think to an extent there's... I don't know where I'm going with it. I'm going to stop talking before y'all hate me. <laughs> uh, there's a, some real big rule followers on here. And maybe I'm not even breaking the law. And it's probably my due justice to look it up and know for sure, but honestly, I've been running these running river bottoms when it floods my entire life and I'm, I'm not going to stop if the law says I'm not supposed to at this point. I mean. Well, here's the first tree that needs to be jumped. Uh, like I said, the river's got narrower for sure, which I kind of anticipated that. Almost could go around it right there if I had some whoppers or something with me. But uh, I just went under two trees. I barely got under with the cow uh, But they were no problem. But hopefully this isn't more to come here. This would be a big tree to cut up if you had to cut it up. Speaking of pigs, check this out. That is plum nasty right there. Ooh, that's a dead pig. Maggots all in it. Oh, I lose the See so if we can get jumped over here without tearing something up. Put the phone down for this. We're gonna push on through it over there through all that brush. Dang, it's gonna get messy. Gonna get messy, but we can do it. I'll try to video it. Let's see if I can. Oh. They clogged up right now. Kill it. Hopefully that got us enough. This dang limb right here is about to break. I'd rather it not be in my lap. Biggest thing is it? Oh my god! We're gonna make it. All of this and that bar probably won't even be open down there. It says it's open on Mondays. Second air. All right, so I just broke that limb off of my hands, scooted the motor over a little bit this way, got a good bite, and got shoved in here a little further. But now my motor's hitting the log, I'll just go up here and pull up. Trim her down, we'll be on the way, but I mean, I had been rough on this cow, and some of that on the Angelina, and just now, this one right here is all craved off in there. 
Oh well. Ain't no show boat. Show you how to get it done, boat. And we are off. Go ahead and just push it on out of here. Uh, you know, the bad part about all this is it's a little easier coming downstream through this junk than it is upstream because, well, current. What tends to happen sometimes when you do something, you work hard to get through something, you go one corner and there's like this impassable log, so. I could just jump this one right here, but I'm gonna try to help myself. Ooh, I don't know if I can. Ooh. I don't think I can break it, but I still think I can just get around it here. Like this. I mean, I'll jump those logs, but man, you're one jump away from <laughs> Sometimes it just, it's weird how the right little jump and you can sure mess a reverse gate up or something like that. Ah, dang. Well, I just buzzed under this thing. Let me show y'all what I saw. Ooh. I don't see nothing buzzing around it. That's pretty cool though, hanging out right over the middle of the river. We ain't gonna mess with it. Probably still a little cold for him, I'm not sure. Well, marked her up even more. I had to break a bunch of limbs right there, but I got under a lot of drift in there. I was hoping that was gonna bust through when I went through. A lot of it here you can see came out. It'll be a pain going back through it. Oh well. Wendy's better be open. Dang it, boy. I hope some of that'll flap off. That's really bad. Wish I had one of Dustin's airboats I could ride. I mean, it just, I mean, airboats are so much better than doing anything. I go right under this, you know. It's, it's crazy. It's like every tree uh, I can barely get over or barely get under. Glad I didn't hit that one. I was going too fast. Would be needing a new Callum crank. So, I'm literally a bend away from where I told y'all the river comes back together. So I'm assuming it's gonna get bigger at that point. And then the next bridge is, I don't know how many, it's, you know, four or five more miles or something. But it looks like this little puny tree is gonna be the dead end. I mean, man, I left my chainsaw at my shop in my house in Mineola. I set it out and everything to bring home with, bring down here with me uh, last week or two, and I left it. I mean, man, if I had a chainsaw, I mean, look at this. Yink, yink. I mean, maybe chop this up a little bit, be gone. I, I usually keep a handsaw in my boat, a little foldable one. I think I'm dedicated enough right now. I could. All I'd really have to do is just saw these three and that one right there, run the rest over. Look at this mess in my boat already, though. Uh, man. Oh, disappointing. Only in myself, really, for just not being prepared. Beat my callin all that up just to come this far to turn around. So this is where I had to come back through, and I just kind of powered through that drift as bad as I could. And uh, I was barely propelling myself. I was not. My tattletale wouldn't pee in. So I went ahead and tied myself up. And I'm just going to go ahead and check my thermostat, which I've already taken it off here, these two 2 liter boats. And I'm going to go ahead and say, come on, focus in there. It is clogged. You can see the sticks hanging out of it there. So I'm going to get that pulled out, cleaned up. Let's see if I pull out my hands here. Sometimes it's just kind of too hot. Get a pair of I like to just take a pair of needle nose, grab that piece of metal there. And yeah, let me get in the right light. 
That's a clogged up thermostat. I wouldn't have made it further, much further than it had been beeping at me. I'll throw that down, let some of it knock off. And then what I like to do here is trim her down. Stay with me here. Get her trimmed down, get her neutral. Crank it up. Just kind of let that burp. Burp any debris that might have been right there out. She's pumping good there now. Now I'll just pick this out and put it back in. <clears throat> it didn't usually too hard. All right, got that all cleaned out and we'll just reassemble. Come here, little blue. Little baby blue. Figured if I can't make it to the little cafe down there, bar, whatever it is. Do a little fishing. Well, there's number two. Nice little cat till they're getting bigger. I think we're gonna stop it too. We're gonna ride on up because we didn't make it for lunch, so I'm hungry. We'll head on out of here. I think I may just drive around to that place see what it looks like. If there's a boat launch there, I may put in and drive up. I really wanted to see what it looked like with those two rivers. Well, the two rivers. The same river came back together. Um, just because I'm curious. But Anyway, going to take him off, throw him back, head on down the road. Well, I made it back up to the bridge, came upstream a little bit. Thought I'd just do some fishing. This old blue. He's almost a little bit too much to handle with one hand. Awesome fish. Back to the house. It's like almost five o'clock. And uh what? Since I didn't make it to that uh Wendy's bar or whatever it is, which you know I got thinking about that little bar, it's probably po dunk don't even serve food. So I'll probably still be hungry. But I am home, I'm about to get me something to eat. It was a good ride though. Why is it so wiggly? Don't worry about it. <laughs>